2025 Kia K4 in photos, the loud new Civic chasing compact from every angle. Kia's newest compact car, the K4, is making a huge splash. Is the new Kia K4 the cure for the common Toyota Corolla, or the common Honda Civic? It sure looks like it, the new compact sedan, and upcoming hatchback version, is a far more expressively styled creature than those popular Japanese small cars, with a jaunty fastback roofline on the sedan and upmarket, angular detailing. The unexpected five-door K4 hatchback has a pleasantly chunky body shape with the same pointy lighting and hidden rear door handles as the K4 sedan, and looks like it will only be offered in sportier GT line trim when it arrives after the four-door. Given how different the K4 looks from virtually any other mainstream small car available today, including the Kia Forte it replaces, here's a spin through the all-new model in photos. The K4 five-door hatchback. Let's start with the surprise of the K4's debut, the hatchback variant. Rolled out on stage alongside the K4 sedan we knew was arriving at the 2024 New York Auto Show, the hatch brings the new K4 lineup in direct, full competition with the Honda Civic and Toyota Corolla, compacts that are both available in sedan and hatchback forms. Like the K4 sedan, the five-door wears angular styling, with L-shaped headlights and taillights, blocky bumper elements, and an overall futuristic vibe. The conservatively styled Honda looks like automotive wallpaper by comparison while the rounded Corolla just seems, well, rotund. In profile, the K4 five-door looks sleek and long, with an athletically truncated tail and a nifty black painted bar separating the rearmost roof pillar, lending it a floating roof vibe. As on the sedan, the rear door handles are hidden up in the roof pillars, leaving clean surfacing near the rear wheels and the suggestion of coupish intent. The Kia K4 sedan. Kia is stretching the bounds of the term sedan, at least visually, with the new K4 sitting higher up on its wheels than you'd expect a car to, sort of like the electric Polestar 2, the K4 also features a dramatic sloping roof. Combined with those hidden rear door handles, the shape is fresh and unusual for the compact car segment. Despite all appearances, the K4 sedan is actually a sedan, with a proper trunk, not a hatchback rear cargo opening. With the K4 five-door offering a more utilitarian cargo hold, the sedan is freed up to be more of a style play. Integrating a tailgate into that fast roofline also probably would have added decent cost to the K4's bottom line, that's a lot of real estate to combine into a hatch, what with all that glass and the distance from the roof to the tip of the rear deck lid. This close-up view of the K4 sedan's taillight offers a glimpse at how complex and interesting its detailing is. There are a lot of angles, surface changes, and other flourishes all over the Kia's body. On both the K4 sedan and hatchback models, the rear quarter window treatment is technical and unique. The hard angles clash with the surrounding angles, those of the roof, backlight, and even the fuel filler door, yet somehow the whole effect just, works. You can also see the rear door handle's clever integration with the blacked out door pillar here. The K4 interior game. If you were expecting the K4's interior to be anything other than a blocky, modern, angular space, we admire your imagination. The cabin echoes the exterior's design theme with simple door panels flanking a rectilinear dashboard topped by a modern duo of digital displays. Interestingly, the K4 relies on a traditional T-shaped shift lever, and the rest of its center console is refreshingly functional. The starter button lives just to the driver's side of the shifter, there is a pair of large cup holders, and a spacious tray with an available wireless charger lives beneath a row of USB ports. This might appear to be one mega screen, but in reality it is a pair of 12.3-inch displays smashed together in a roommate situation in that shared binnacle. Kia says that between those two displays and a 5-inch screen for the climate controls lower on the dashboard, the K4 offers 30 inches of screen space in total, a row of menu shortcut buttons sits just beneath it, and there's even a classy knurled silver volume roller knob in the center, above the emergency flasher button. The new screens preside over an over-the-air updatable software suite, and include a voice assistant, at least in the K4 sedan. We haven't seen the inside of the five-door hatchback yet, the rear seat appears spacious, with 38 inches of legroom, a class-leading stat, according to Kia. This roominess is owed to the K4's overall size, Kia says it's the largest compact car available. Though we'll need to check out the K4 sedan's trunk opening in person, it seems rather small, thanks to that fast roofline, Kia says the space within is substantial, a solid 14.6 cubic feet, roughly in line with what the Honda Civic's roomy caboose delivers. Numbers for the hatchback surely will be bigger, but those details are forthcoming. Will the new K4 prove a worthy replacement for the Forte sedan, as well as the smaller Rio it also stands in for? If it's affordable, with these looks, it could be a big-time challenger for the Civic and Corolla.